John chapter 6, verse 4. Now the Passover, a Jewish festival, was near. Uh, Jesus has gone over to the uh, other side of the Sea of Galilee. We're getting ready to see some pretty big events. And this verse might be one we just simply zip right over, but it gives us so much information. First of all, the Passover, which ties us back to the very first Passover in the book of Exodus, uh, when the destroying angel was going to come in and kill all the firstborn, unless the blood of the sacrificial lamb was painted on the doorpost so that the destroying angel would know to pass over. What a beautiful picture of what Jesus will be as the perfect sacrificial lamb and the great Passover. But this was a feast. It was celebrated, and it was celebrated annually. And we see three of these feasts mentioned in the book of John, which kind of helps us see that this transpired over at least three or maybe three and a half or four years. And so this is the second mention of the three. This is the only one where he's not in Jerusalem for this Passover. And, uh, and there's also an interesting little note here. A Jewish festival was near. So John is clarifying maybe for, maybe for those who aren't Jewish at all, maybe, to try to help. Because if you're Jewish and you celebrate this every year, you would have a general idea of what this Passover was. I think in America, it'd be like saying, you know, uh, the 4th of July or Christmas or something. But yet he's, he's illustrating to those who might not know that there's a Jewish festival called the Passover. It's also very interesting. And it helps us sort of lock down some of the timelines of what's going on. A lot of Jesus' ministry that we see in the book of John kind of transpires around the Passover, very significant moments. And so now here comes another one. And so uh, we might just simply just, you know, breeze right on by in the reading, but let's just stop and meditate on, on the magnitude of, you know, this three-year ministry, what the Passover is, the major connections that we're about to see, and what that might be cluing us into to take note as we're getting ready to see that Jesus is the better Moses and He's the sacrificial Passover lamb, the perfect lamb that takes away the sins of the world.